Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. What are some of your favorite business and or finance books that have helped or inspired you the most in building and maintaining your practice? I love this question. Uh, so first, I want to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. Therapy Notes is an all-in-one system. It gives you everything you need for the back end of your practice. It takes care of your clinical notes. It takes care of your schedule. It takes care of processing credit cards. If you submit insurance, it'll do that too. It just makes everything easier to have it all in one place. So I highly, highly recommend Therapy Notes. You can try them for two months for free if you go to therapynotes.com and use the code ABUNDANT at checkout. So when I started my practice, there weren't really practice building consultants. Um, there weren't courses or webinars or programs. There were a couple books. Um, and those authors of those books offered one-on-one -on -one consultations, but I couldn't afford what those consultations cost. Um, though I want to say, I'm sure they would have been awesome. So um, those two books were Lynn Grotsky's 2003 book, 12 Months to Your Ideal Private Practice. It's almost 20 years old, but it has some really good mindset nuggets in it. Um, some things that I've used with attribution with some people I've worked with sometimes. It's a really good book. Casey Truffaut's 2007 book, Be a Wealthy Therapist, also helped me realize that therapists can actually make decent money. Um, I didn't fully know that until I read that book. It just didn't seem possible, possible. Um, but I really believed it after reading that. Unfortunately, I started my practice way before anybody who's starting now. And those two books are really, were really helpful to me, but they were also written at a time when marketing was really different than it is now. Uh, Y'all know I love networking. I don't remember if either book talks about networking at all. Um, a lot of the in-person strategies they talk about might still apply, but any advice about online marketing, like websites, ads, social media, blogging, videos, uh, and those books would probably be out of date um, unless they've had some like updated editions. This is making me want to write a book. I don't have time to write a book. Um, okay, so let's talk about some more current private practice specific books that um, have not, they weren't instrumental in me starting my practice because they came out afterwards, but I really respect the writers. Um, the Entrepreneurial Clinician by Joe Muirhead um, looks at building a business that prevents burnout, improves patient outcomes, and helps change the healthcare system. I love Joe. If you don't follow her, you should. Um, Lee Shea McDonough has a great book called Act on Your Business. It brings um, ACT, Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, which I love, perspective into business building. Um, I just love that perspective and she's awesome. They've both been trainers for the party before. I just really respect both of them. Um, from a finance perspective, I loved Mike McCallowitz's Profit First. Uh, I never expected to like a financial book. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was going to be really dry. He talks in, I think the foreword about being a co-crier. Like if anybody cries around him, he just starts crying too. And I was like, I think I love this guy. So um, I don't think the financial breakdown is totally accurate for solo practices. You can typically pay yourself more percentage wise and spend a bit less in operating expenses percentage wise, but the structure and the way of thinking about your finances in that concrete way is really, really helpful. Um, I really like building a story brand by Donald, Donald Miller for copywriting. He talks about when you're writing, don't make yourself the hero and what you're writing for your clients, make your clients the hero and you're like their guide. Uh, it's a lot more intense than that, but that's like this super quick breakdown. Um, it's not a business book, but for those of you who are like me and really struggle with perfectionism, um, my, my perfectionism really took over in my business there for a while. And the book Present Over Perfect by Shauna Nequist is really good. Um, I like have it on Audible. I have it in hard copy. I've read it multiple times. Whenever I start to feel that like perfectionism overdrive itch come, I'll pick it up and like read some things I've highlighted to get me back in, on track. Um, I read the classic Dale Carnegie book, How to Win Friends and Influence People in My Teens. And it really helped me feel a lot less untethered in social situations and helped those interactions feel less about me presenting myself in a particular way and more about me getting to know people. So if you're nervous about networking, that could be really helpful. Atomic Habits by James Clear helped me realize that I don't have to like change everything all at once every time I want to make a change, which 
I just constantly need reminding. I'm like, all right, it's time to like revamp all the things forever. Um, and I've thrown the baby out with the bathwater in the past. And I like atomic habits because it talks about like a 1% difference, just just a little tiny change over time makes a drastic difference in your life, your world, your business, all of it. Um, Dare to Lead by Brene Brown helped me feel like I could and should step up and show up even when it felt really scary. Uh, if you struggle to say hard things, Radical Candor by Kim Scott is a great book to help you get the words out of your mouth, especially if you're a part of a team or you lead a team. Um yeah, it, it was like a safety net for me when I had to have some hard conversations and I haven't read it yet. Cause it comes out this month, but my buddy, Joe Sanok wrote a book called Thursday is the new Friday, which helps you leverage your time, have better work-life balance without sacrificing your income. Uh, today's free worksheet has all those written down for you. So you don't have to be like jotting down while you're, while you're driving or wishing you could write them down. I got it for you. Um, and if you're not much of a reader, you prefer something more interactive, you wanna maybe save some time than reading all of those books, come and join us in the Abundance Party. It's solely focused on building a private practice that you love. Um, and at a low monthly cost, it's something that would be cheaper than buying all these books too. Um, if you have any questions for Ask Allison, please DM me over on Instagram where I'm abundance underscore practice underscore building. Have a great day.